Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about doing a headless setup of a Raspberry Pi using a Mac. And I'm going to be using a Raspberry Pi 4, but this should work on the other ones. I'll put a link in the description to the hardware I'm using, and if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. I'll also put a link to my Raspberry Pi playlist, where I have other Raspberry Pi videos and projects. So to get started, you're going to want to go to raspberrypi.org and go to Downloads, and then you want to download the instance you want to use. I'm going to use Raspbian, and I downloaded this Raspbian Buster Lite. So I downloaded the zip. I'll be writing the image file to a micro SD card using the Raspberry Pi Imager software, and I have a video of this on my playlist. So I'm going to choose my OS here. I'll scroll down and say Use Custom, and I'll select my image. I'll hit Open. I'll put the SD card in my SD card slot. I'll choose SD card. I'm using the 32 gigabyte card, and then I'll hit Write. So this will write the image to the card, I'll ask for my password, and then it will verify it. Okay, so that's finished. I'll hit continue. And it says I can remove the card from the reader. I'll close down the imager. And I want to put the card back in my Mac, so I'm just going to pull it out and press it back in. And I've opened up a terminal. And what I want to do is create a file on the boot partition of the micro SD card. So I want to type touch, space, and then I'm just going to drag this over to my terminal. And then I'll hit delete forward slash, and then I just want to type SSH. So if I open up boot now, you'll see I have a file called SSH. Right here. So that will enable SSH on the Raspberry Pi. So now I'll remove this, I'll right click on it and say eject, or you could drag it down to your trash can. And I'm going to plug this into my Raspberry Pi, and then I'll connect to it on my Mac. Okay, so I've inserted the micro SD card into my Raspberry Pi, and I have it hooked up to power and to a network. And that's the only thing I have hooked up. I don't have a keyboard, mouse, monitor, or anything. So I'm going to give it a little bit of time to boot, and then we should be able to access it on the Mac. So I'll clear my terminal. I'm just going to type ping, and I'll type raspberry pi.local. And when this starts pinging, then I know it's on the network. Okay, there we go. So now I'll clear my screen. I can type SSH pi at raspberry pi dot local. I'll hit enter. So I have this thing, it says host key verification failed. So if you're setting up multiple Raspberry Pis, then you might get a message like this. So I'll go over how to fix that. I'll clear my screen. Then you want to type SSH dash keygen dash capital R, and then the name of the host. So I'll run that, I'll type yes, I'll type raspberry for the password. So the default username is pi, the default password is raspberry, and the default DNS name is raspberrypi.local. So this has the, it's called, I think Bonjour is the current name, or Zero Comp. there's a bunch of different names for this discovery service that it uses. So if you want to set up another Raspberry Pi headless, what you would probably want to do with this is change the host name. So, so I'll clear my screen, so you can type sudo space hostname ctl space set dash hostname and then the name you want. So I'll call this raspberry001. So now I'll reboot this, I'll type sudo space reboot. I'll clear my screen. I'll wait for that to reboot and then I'll try logging in with the new host name. Okay, I'll give it a try. It's not up yet. Okay, I ran into a problem. I actually had typed the wrong name here. I tried it a couple times. It's actually Raspberry 001 that I named it. I thought I had it Raspberry Pi 001, so you gotta pay attention. So I'll run that and now I can connect back up to it and we're back in. So you can also access it using the IP address. So I'll type IP space A and you'll see here we have the IP address is 192.168.7.245. So it might not be a bad idea to make note of that in case the DNS isn't working to access your Raspberry Pi. Another thing you would probably want to do is change the password and you can just type P-A-S-S-W-D and you can type in the new password here. I'm not going to do that right now though. 
So from this point, you could type sudo space raspy config, and you could go through the config here to set things. I usually go through the localization options. I have a couple videos on some setups in my Raspberry Pi playlist, but if, but if you have any questions about any of these, please leave a comment below. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.